Well, here we are. We are in the last three weeks of the regular season in the NFL. Four playoff spots have been locked up. Saints, Chiefs, um, Packers, and Steelers, you know, have playoff spots. And some teams have been eliminated already, you know, and teams are looking to lock up spots. So let's get started, shall we? And we have Thursday Night Football tonight. The Raiders are trying to stay in it, you know, stay in the playoff race because they have been getting, they have been getting, you know, they, they've just been getting kicked in the mouth and they can't recover in the past two weeks. And should be a good time tonight against the Chargers, you know. Justin Herbert is playing, you know, lights out this season. But, I mean, it's the Chargers. The Chargers aren't a good team. Come on now. Um, and, and as we move forward, that is tonight. That is Thursday Night Football. We have Saturday football. That's right. But nobody's going to be watching these games. In fact, the Broncos, I think, are pretty much eliminated from playoff contention anyway. Um, but they're taking on Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, you know, the high-flying very hot Bills. You know, they are just playing very, very well. Um, I don't really expect too much resistance from the Broncos. They they, they tried, you know, a little too hard, a little too late again. Nothing nothing to see here. Matt Rule and the Carolina Panthers are going up to Green Bay to take on the Packers on Saturday night. Um... So we have two games this Saturday. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to watch this game either. There's far more important college football games on that Saturday. And this game is really not important at all. Packers have locked up a playoff spot. Panthers are pretty much eliminated. You know, they're still rebuilding and stuff like that. There's really no reason to talk about this game. Uh, the Texans, Colts, second time in the last, what, three weeks that these two teams have played? And the last time we saw these two teams play, uh... The Texans just really, really fumbled the bag. Literally, they fumbled the ball at the goal line. Could have beaten the Colts. Um, I'm expecting, you know, about the same things here. It was last week, you know. I mean, it's just like, man, Texans are just not good. Not a good team. Titans taking on the Lions. And these are the Sunday games, of course, you know. Um... Nothing really to say here. It's the Titans. You know, they've been playing very, very well the last few weeks in the Lions. You know, if they if, this, if somehow the Lions, you know, have another lead or something late in this game and the Titans just blow the doors open on them, don't be surprised. Just do not be surprised at all. I'm expecting Derrick Henry to run all over this Lions defense. Uh, Bears, Vikings, two teams, you know, that are somehow still alive. In the playoff hunt, the NFC has looked a lot weaker this year than it has in the past. Honestly, I mean, we're being completely honest with ourselves. The NFC has looked a lot weaker than it has been. But the Bears, the Vikings, um, man, there's actually a lot going on here. You know, playoff spots are on the line. Jobs are going to eventually be on the line and stuff like that. And, um... I mean, Mitchell Trubisky, Kirk Cousins. It's, it's that type of matchup. You know, it's it's not going to be pretty. One of these teams is going to lose. One of these teams is going to, you know, be even further down in, 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 their, in, in their quest for a playoff spot. Honestly, whoever loses the game might be eliminated from playoff contention. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, we're, we're that late to the season. Uh, rather important for the NFC East is the Seahawks and the Washington football team. Now, uh, the Giants, they have a lot easier paths to win the NFC East than do my Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, the Eagles have a... Uh, they are behind. So are the Cowboys. They are behind. They need Washington to drop every game from this point onward. And you know, the football team's defense has been playing lights out. Somehow the Seahawks got caught off guard a couple weeks ago against the Giants. And if the, if the, if the football team catches 
the Seahawks off guard again. Uh, I, I won't be very surprised. Again, if Washington wins this game, it'll pretty much all the way both the Eagles and the Cowboys for a playoff contention, and it'll be a two-team race for the NFC East. So, Seahawks, counting on y'all. And you got, and, you know, you, you you had a bye week last week in the Jets. Bring yourselves back to reality this week, okay? A uh, Patriot. <sighs> Sorry. Patriots, Dolphins. Patriots are kind of out of the playoff race themselves. You know, it's the first time in a long time they won't be able to win the AFC East. And the Dolphins, you know, they, they got to pick their heads up. You know, valiant effort last week against Kansas City, obviously. But uh, two, it's two a time at home again with the Patriots, and, and I mean the Patriots just struggle, have struggled on offense. They can't get anything going. Every time they have Cam Newton out there, there's just nothing going on. There's just, I mean, it's just crazy, you know. But you know, I'm expecting this Dolphins defense to get at Cam again. They, he, he's he's gonna need a he's gonna need an ice bath after this game. You know, I can guarantee you that the Dolphins defense has been crazy good this year. Jags, Ravens, Ravens are back in the playoff hunt, and it's the Jags. Jags aren't good. There's no reason to talk about this game. I've expected the Ravens to win it easily. Bucks, Falcons. Uh, the last time these two teams faced up, I think the Bucks won this game pretty, you know, I think the Falcons blew the game away again or something like that. I don't know. But, I mean, it's the Falcons. There's really nothing, again, there's nothing to talk about here with this game. I'm expecting the Bucks to win this game, you know. I'm expecting them to. That doesn't mean they can yeah, because the Bucks have, you know, done some rather silly things over the last few weeks. They have been... They've been getting punched in the mouth several times over the last few weeks, honestly. <clears throat> so, what about my Cowboys? We have been flexed for the first time in about 15 years to noon, you know, because we're just, we, the Cowboys are just that bad, taking on the 49ers. And um, 49ers aren't good. Cowboys really aren't, they really aren't good either. But, I mean... I'm expecting Nick Mullins to throw more interceptions our way. Come on, come on, give us the give us the give us the ball, Nick. Give us the ball, because we know he turns it over like it's nothing. Like Nick Mullins is that bad of a quarterback, just terrible. I don't know what in the world the Jets, the Rams, doing at 3:05, but uh, it's there. The undefeated season continues for the Jets. I'm just saying that right now. <laughs> it continues, man. The Rams are gonna whoop them. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be over before halftime. Let me tell you that. Um, Eagles, Cardinals. Now, the Eagles have to win against the Cardinals as well. They have to keep pace with the football team and the Giants. And if they don't, um, their, their, their playoff hopes are dead. You know, and they got to stop Kyler Murray and that air raid. You know, and I mean... I mean, the Cardinals, you know, they have you know, weapons on offense and defense. I mean, they, I mean, the Eagles caught the Saints by surprise last week. They really did. But can can they keep it this up? Can the, can the Eagles keep this up? They really caught the Saints by surprise on defense especially. Can they keep this up? Can they stop Kyler Murray? Can they stop all these weapons on the offensive side of the field for the Arizona Cardinals? Boy, am I glad the 49ers aren't using the Cardinals field anymore. I don't know. I don't think they're going to be. I don't think they're going to be at home for the rest of the season. Hopefully, I, I, I don't know. I, I think they have a game on it on the last week of the season at home, like at the 49ers' home. We're talking about you know down there in Santa Clara, but I don't know. Um, yeah, Eagles cards. Eagles need to win this game. Steelers, Bengals, Monday night. Honestly, it's the Bengals. Nothing really to see here. It's the Bengals. They're not good. They fumbled three times last week against the Cowboys. They had Brandon Allen as the quarterback and stuff like that. You know, and I mean, the Steelers need to bounce back. So this should be a perfect opportunity to bounce back after getting punched in the mouth twice. As far as Sunday night goes, Browns, Giants, you know, 
very, very interesting game there. The Giants also have to keep pace with the football team to win games. They have to keep winning. They have to hope Washington starts losing. And, you know, Daniel Jones is back in the lineup. You know, he's still turning the ball over. The Browns, they are angry after last week, you know, against the Ravens, you know, very angry, you know, at that performance, how they, they let it slip away. They really let it slip away from them. You know, they had the Ravens right where they wanted them, and the Ravens came back, punched them in the mouth again, uh, and won the game. So the Browns, they, they're going to have to get it together if they want to beat the Giants. They're, gonna get, get, they're, they're just going to have to get it all together. They have to get all the pieces together on offense and defense. But, I mean, the Giants really aren't that good of a team. I mean, especially now Daniel Jones is back. Daniel Jones is just not good. I mean, he's just not a good quarterback. There's really nothing to say about Daniel Jones except he turns the ball over way too much. But alas, forget about Sunday Night Football for now. The Holy Grail, the only game at 325 or 425 if you live on the East Coast, of course, is the Chiefs and the Saints. Patrick Mahomes, Drew Brees, um, hopefully. I, I really don't know. I haven't kept up with, you know, that there's been no report saying, hey, is Drew Brees coming back? Because I've been asking for like three weeks now. Is Drew Brees coming back? Because I have no idea. But this is a heavyweight matchup regardless. Two top teams in the NFL taking on one of the high-flying Chiefs, which have a very solid defense. The Saints, which have always, they, they've always looked very good at times. And they have a very good defense as well. Going to be a good game. I can guarantee you that. Going to be a long game. Going to be a long, long night. I can, dare, I can guarantee you. You know, for one team or the other. Uh, <clears throat> and these are the types of heavyweight matchups we've been needing to see throughout the season. You know, I'm so glad we've got these matchups late. You know, you know these unexpected heavyweight matchups this late in the season. But, um, yeah, Chiefs Saints, going to be fun. Probably the best game of the day, but do not, don't, don't think. Just because I glanced over some things, you know, about, you know, some of these other teams that are getting in the playoffs and maybe not, you know, that there's no storylines. There's plenty of storylines, you know. There's plenty of things going on here. So, that being said, everybody, like, uh, like share, comment, subscribe, and click the little notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.